So last week, the bipartisan deal to avoid defaulting on our national debt passed with overwhelming majorities in Congress over the objections of mainly a group of far-right Republicans. One of those outspoken critics was Congresswoman Lauren Boebert of Colorado, no surprise, who repeatedly promised to vote against the bill. The bill Biden negotiated fuels inflation, adds trillions to our debt, and leaves a blank check for more of the same nonsense I came here to stop. I am not for an unlimited debt ceiling increase. As presented today, I'm voting no. You heard her. She's pretty incensed there. I'm voting no. So it seemed a bit strange when Lauren Boebert just didn't show up at all to vote on Wednesday. Over the weekend, the congressman posted a video claiming she skipped the vote in protest. Hey, everyone. I am back in Colorado, but let's talk about D.C. No excuses. I was ticked off. They wouldn't let me do my job, so I didn't take the vote. Once again, Washington's power machine shoved a multi-trillion dollar bill down our throats, refused to allow debate or amendments, disregarded everything we fought for in January to actually allow representatives to do their jobs. And instead, they served us up a crap sandwich. Call it a no-show protest, but I certainly let every one of my colleagues and the country know I was against this garbage of a bill. A no-show protest to a crap sandwich. It's quite a phrase, according to the congresswoman. But as it turns out, that doesn't seem to be actually what happened. A Capitol Hill producer caught Lauren Boebert on tape, frantically running into the building Wednesday evening, too late to vote. They just closed it. They closed it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't stop watching that. Uh, and Boebert actually admitted that she was late and missed the vote on the congressional record, saying that she was unavoidably detained. And if she, quote, had been present, she would have voted nay. So it's sort of like saying, if I hadn't slept through my alarm, I swear I would have aced that test. It's almost as if she didn't think anyone would check. No one was tracking. I guess it's not a huge surprise, given Lauren Boebert has a pretty loose relationship with facts. And I can tell you, she wouldn't be the first on President Biden's call sheet of Republicans. But there are lots of Republicans that this president can find common cause with, showing his willingness to extend olive branches across the aisle is basically part of what got him elected in 2020. It was part of his strategy and a big part of the strategy going into 2024. Much more of that coming up next. 